What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be taking you through my WWE figure weapons collection. <laughs> So in today's video, guys, I am going to be going through my big bin of WWE figure weapons and a few accessories. You know, not every single thing in here is a weapon. There are some extra accessories. You can see the Festival, festival of Friendship little uh, painting right here from the Epic Moments. But this does not include every single weapon. I do have, like, a ton of chairs. I have a ton of tables, and I have a ton of ladders, you know, strolled out through the uh, backstage area. You can see a table over here. I have a big drawer over there you guys have seen multiple times on the channel all of the ladders and chairs and tables I have so this is not going to include any chairs any tables or any ladders and there are like some cameras and some other small accessories that I guess that could be used as weapons that will not be in this video but I'm just going to go through this big bin this is supposed to be all of my other weapons you know sledgehammers uh, cinder blocks ish like that we're going to go through here and see what we got in here I can't even remember what we got in here and you'll probably see some accessories as well I'm not exactly sure sure what is all in here but let's go ahead and get started all right guys so getting straight into it the first thing we do have is the guitar you can actually get this with i think the rock you can get this with i can't even remember this is coming out with elias coming very very soon you can go pre-order elias at ringside collectibles using discount code md toys we got the elite jack swagger flag which is very nice the don't tread on me flag we have a steel trash can that is dented in, and I'm not even sure exactly what figure this came with. Next up, we do have the ambulance door that came with the Elite 58 Braun Strowman. Very nice accessory. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, though. Next up, we have my shopping cart that you can get at Hobby Lobby and Michael's and a few hobby stores. This is very good. I actually did a video on this, and it's in perfect scale with the WWE figures. It can really add some oomph to your hardcore Extreme Rules matches. Next up, we got a massive accessory right here. It is the uh, coffin from the Ringside Collectibles uh, Buried Alive Match playset. You can get this at ringsidecollectibles.com using promo code MDTOYS as well. Very, very nice right here. Uh, it even opens up if I can get it. So there it is open, you guys, and you can see that I lined it with some zebra print for MDT. That's just how we do. Next up, we have a crutch, which you can also get at Ringside Collectibles. We have a Bray Wyatt chair. See, this isn't really a weapon. This is just more of a bigger accessory, so it is in there. I think this is the Elite 28 Bray Wyatt. I can't remember, though. Next up, we have the background, that SummerSlam background that did come with that Walmart exclusive SummerSlam set. Uh, it's like build a SummerSlam set, 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 set. But it came with X-Pac, Ultimate Warrior, Mean Gene, and Yokozuna. So this is what that is. Next up, we have the Festival of Friendship little thing from the Epic Moments. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho can't really, uh, I don't know where the screen is. It's probably somewhere in this thing, but that's what this is right here. Very nice. You know, they gave us a ton of accessories with that set. Next, we have the Ringside Collectibles exclusive wheelchair play set, which you can get over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS. Went ahead and cleared out all this space right here, guys. I'm going to have to start setting them on the floor because I ran out of room because of these massive accessories. But moving on here, we do have the uh, my first coffin I ever got this is a this is I got from Amazon I think it's like 15 bucks and uh, this is pretty nice this was before you know I got the ringside collectibles one the ringside one's way better but this one is pretty nice the tops in here somewhere next up we got a baggie full of those extreme sets locker room diorama like hanger bars we have one of my uh, WWE Mattel stage WWE logos that you plug into the stage we have a shovel that I got from one of my uh, loyal subscribers. I think this is a Jack shovel. We have the podium that comes with the Elite 25 Bruno Sammartino figure that uh, is missing the mic. It's in here somewhere, I'm sure. Here's the top to that coffin from Amazon. We have a fire extinguisher. You can get this with multiple figures. I believe this is the one from the WWE Elite Series 48 Dean Ambrose. We have a trash can lid. I believe this is from Jax, though. I don't think this is Mattel. We have a Jax broom that a uh, beast of a subscriber to the channel gave me in some fan mail. We have a dinner tray that I don't think is Mattel either. I think this is Jax, but it scales very well 
with the Mattel figures. And then we have an Elite 37 Seth Rollins cinder block. We have the Elite 35 Luke Harper alligator right here. I think it's Elite 35. It could be wrong. And then we have a sledgehammer. Here's a piece of that build a SummerSlam set from the Walmart exclusive pack. We have an MDT Live Titan Tron TV for the backstage area. We have a CM Punk Best in the World microphone from the build a figure Jim Ross set. Toys R Us exclusive. We have some little mini Christmas accessories that I got from Hobby Lobby that are not weapons at all. We have this Jack safe that I got from a loyal subscriber and some fan mail as well. And this is really cool. This is definitely from Jax, Mattel. You know, they don't give us cool accessories like this, which I wish they would. But uh, this is very awesome. You can, like, put the figure's heads through here and, they, like, bust through. And you can see their head through there. We have uh, Francesca or Francesca 2. Don't really remember. I think it's Francesca, though. And then we have the uh, little cast iron from the uh, Terry Funk Elite 40. We have the easel from the uh, Epic Moments Festival of Friendship, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. That would go with... With this painting right here so you know you just stick it on there and it's real nice next up we have another Francesca and another crutch we have a piece of the uh, note this is I think this is part of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy, I think, maybe. We have the frame from the APA door from the Elite 38 APA set. You know, you stick this like this, and then they go through the door or whatever. That's supposed to connect right there. Uh, the door is in the backstage somewhere, so I'll have to find that. It's not in this uh, drawer. Next up, we have a massive barbell with some weights on it that came with the Elite 46 John Cena. This is, like, so much weight, guys. I can't even tell you how much. This is, like, ridiculous amount of weight. Probably too unrealistic. We have the other part of that SummerSlam set. I'm going to go ahead and tilt it up like this so we can get them out just a little bit easier. We have the American flag, the other flag that came with Jack Swagger. We have a kendo stick that came with multiple figures, and Elite 36 Ambrose is the first one that comes to mind. We have a light from that uh, Walmart exclusive build a SummerSlam set set. We have half of the Mattel backstage playset bench. We have a clear plastic case that I ordered off eBay for like six cents. We have a random stop sign accessory I got from uh, Tannehill, which is like a flea market one time. Very nice Jack's accessory. We have a Seth Rollins cinder block. We have another Seth Rollins cinder block. We have a uh, bucket pail right here, and I don't know what this came with either. This may be a Jack's accessory. We have half of a broken wooden board. We have the neck of a guitar. These guitars kind of suck, guys, because they like fall apart really, really easily. We have a camera from that uh, Walmart exclusive set. We have an IRS suspenders for some reason. We have a cane from the Godfather, but this is a Jack's cane, but it does scale nicely with the Mattel figures. We have the small little table that you know comes with your pizzas it goes in the middle of your pizza uh, you know when you order a pizza from anywhere they put this in the middle of it and uh, I just thought it could work as a little side table and I just threw it in this box we have Papa Shango's little staff stick right here and then a Elite 40 Dean Ambrose nightstick another Seth Rollins cinder block a little Mattel stage playset light that you clip on to your stage a little holder for one of those cameras from the SummerSlam set we have a Bailey inflatable flying flailing arm tube man. Elite 57 Seth Rollins entrance torch. A Bray Wyatt lantern. We have an arm sling that I believe came with some sort of battle pack. I do not remember exactly which one. Maybe Dean Ambrose and Brian Pillman. I cannot remember. I have this little piece of the stage. Don't even know what this is. But now that I remember that Dean Ambrose and Brian Pillman pack came with this crutch. It just hit me. So this is what that crutch is from. We have another piece of that guitar. Again, these things fall apart so freaking easy. We have a random dumbbell. Do not know what this came with. I believe it's one random Elite in an Elite set. We have another trash can lid. Very nice. I wish Mattel would give us more of these. We have another crutch and another little uh, branding iron. We have the little box that came with it. This is what that little black piece came with. Not the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal Trophy. This is what goes on to this case. This is for Kane's mask with the Elite 47.5. And this is the Battle Pack VOD Villains little megaphone. We have the little Vindication monitor for the pick fan for the backstage. We have this random, don't know what the hell this is, but it's got a WWE logo on it. We have the little shield that came with the Elite 50 Berserker or Elite 49. No, it's the Elite 51. Elite 50 or Elite 51 Berserker. Another crutch. The other half of that Mattel backstage bench. Another Luke Harper alligator. Another broken in half Seth Rollins 
draw on cinder block, another crutch, another random dumbbell, do not know again what this came with, some broken up pieces of another guitar, and this is probably one of the most annoying accessories, guys. It's just like you build it and then it just falls straight apart. We have another one of those camera stands, one half of another Seth Rollins cinder block, another Seth Rollins cinder block, a do not enter street sign that came with the Elite 48 Cactus Jack, another Bray Wyatt Lantern, another Francesca, another Sledgehammer, another Kendo Stick, an Elite 23 Triple H Megaphone, a Elite 56 Jack Gallagher Umbrella, also could be used for Marty Skrull, another one of those Stage Mattel Lights, another Crutch, uh, I believe this goes on one of the rings, you like stick this under the ring and it's like a little stand that you stick up in the inside of the ring, don't know why that's in there. Another Elite 23 DX Triple H Megaphone, a piece of the uh, Festival of Friendship TV screen, the Network Spotlight Hunter Hearst Helmsley Staff, we have this Carnival Dream USB drive that I got on my honeymoon, don't know why this is in here, you know you unplug this, it could be used as like a, you know you have like a little cruise line tournament for your figures and then you cut the chain off and this could be used as the trophy or something, I don't know. Wacky Waving Inflatable Flailing Arm Tube Man Arm, Tyler Breeze Selfie Stick, two more uh, police batons. Two more police batons, another piece of a guitar, the other half of that broken piece of wood, another black and silver dumbbell. I have no idea what this is, it's like a silver plated little thing. Don't know what this goes to. The WrestleMania Triple H Skull Mask. This needs to be going in a different bin. This does not belong in here. Another DX Triple H Megaphone. Police Baton. Camera for the, uh, you know, cameraman to record all the action with. Mattel Stage Light. Other Mattel Stage Light. Guitar Neck Handle. Small little basketball that came with the Hall of Fame Ted DiBiase. Another crutch and another half of a Seth Rollins Cinder Block. A Boogeyman Staff. The microphone to that. That podium. Two more Seth Rollins cinder blocks. I just need to get all my cinder blocks and have a Degum cinder block death match. We have this wooden baseball bat mallet type deal. Defining's moment sting bat. Two more of those Mattel stage uh, playset lights. Another crutch. Another nightstick. A tombstone that comes with the ringside exclusive uh, Buried Alive playset. Macho King Staff. The scepter that came with the Ultimate Warrior or the vice versa. I can't remember. I think this is Macho King. This is the scepter that came with Ultimate Warrior. A Jax Chain. Police Baton. A WWE entrance stage WWE logo that you plug into uh, the stage. Sledgehammer. Another sledgehammer. Two more fire extinguishers. The other arm of that that Bailey Buddy thing, the scepter from the Hall of Fame King Booker, police baton, police baton, police baton, and finally police baton. Another Mattel stage light, a wrench that I think is Jack's, do not think this came with any Mattel figures. The cane that came with the uh, Elite 39 Godfather, the clock that came with the Elite 48 Boogeyman, the remaining pieces of the Epic Moments Festival of Friendship screen, a random wine bottle, and another piece of the guitar, another piece of the guitar, a random contract, and some uh, crowd sounds. You have this custom You Can't See Me one that I made, and then this CM Punk one that came with the Build-A-Figure CM Punk. And last but not least, a Jax uh, WWE contract. So ladies and gentlemen, finally I have completed my entire I guess WWE figure weapons collection, not including chairs and tables. You see the massive pile right here. That took a long time. Here are the smaller little accessories that uh, I just finished up with. But uh, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I do have like a ton of chairs, tables, and ladders. But this video was not to cover those. This was to cover this drawer. Because I had literally no idea what else was in there. But now I have an idea on what is in there. You know, I usually go in there to get weapons out for the pick fed and stuff. But now I actually have an idea. I have a head count of everything I have. So that will definitely help me out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.